Well, it's my great pleasure that the Minister of Health and Long-Term Pierre Frontier is joining us here today. Um, I, you may know that as a patient ombudsman, uh, the Honourable Christine Elliott really stood up for patients and made sure that their voices were raised and respected and included in the health system. And she has continued to champion that work uh, for patients with the introduction and uh, now passing of the People's Health Act. It really is about people. And we are gathered here today as part, in part, well, actually entirely, because of this implementation. Um, and, uh, and we are very, so very pleased to, uh, to have the Honourable Christine Elliott with us today, just to share a few remarks uh, about our next steps in the health system. Well, thank you very much for your kind introduction and good morning, everyone. I, uh, I really am very uh, pleased to be here this morning and uh, want to thank the Institute of Health Policy uh, Management and Evaluation at the University of Toronto for inviting me to your Integrated Care Symposium. Now, I have to tell you uh, right off the start, I'm a little bit intimidated because all of you are health professionals and probably know much, much more than I do about healthcare. I'm sadly just a lawyer and a politician, but, but I'm very, very excited to be here with you today and to uh, share a bit in the conversation that you're having about integrated care. But I also do want to thank you for your ongoing commitment to supporting Ontario's patients and for the support you provide to healthcare organizations and those who work directly on the front lines. When you work in healthcare, whether you're providing the frontline care or supporting the day-to-day -day operations and planning of a health organization, patients and families I know are at the heart of every single decision that you make. And that's what our government has set out to do as well. That's very important to me too. Our government has made a commitment to the people of Ontario to build an integrated, modern public health care system that is focused on the needs of patients and on ending hallway health care. Everyone here today knows better than most why this change is not only necessary, but also better for patients and families. Our health care system is facing significant and growing capacity pressures. Only 33% of patients are being admitted from the emergency department within the provincial eight-hour target. And I can tell you that I was in a hospital yesterday where they had 18 uh, patients with mental health difficulties that were in the emergency department. They did not have beds for them. And they also had significant lineups just in their regular emergency department with patients being in a, a hospital hallway lined up bed by bed by bed. That is not the excellent quality care that any of us want to see happen at any hospital across Ontario. But we do know that in fact, close to 1,200 people every day are receiving hallway health care in hospitals in this province. And even the fact that hallway health care has become such a term that we use regularly in this sector is a reflection that our system is really failing to meet the challenges before it. Care is fragmented, particularly at transition points, for example, from hospital to home care, and providers are not incented to work together as a team and information sharing and communication between providers and their patients is inconsistent. We need to change that. The status quo is simply not acceptable. We've heard from healthcare providers from across Ontario, many of you that are here today, that the sector is ready for change. A change where the system encourages collaboration, partnership, and finally frees them from a system slowed by the bureaucracy constructed within it. And I know the Ministry of Health is largely responsible for that and we need to deal with that. In April, we took a big step forward with the passage of the People's Health Care Act. This legislation is really a key component of our government's plan to finally build and I do say finally, I know for you, many of you, this has been many, many years, but to finally build a modern, sustainable, and integrated public health care system. 
one that is truly focused on the needs of patients. Together with partners like all of you, we will organize healthcare providers to work as one coordinated team focused on patients and the local needs of communities. As you know, we're calling this local new method of partnership Ontario Health Teams. Ontario Health Teams reflect evidence-informed best practices and models of care, and I know that is important to all of you. They have roots in academic papers from researchers at the University of Toronto, like the 1990 paper towards a Canadian model of integrated healthcare, all the way to today's providers who continue to show incredible enthusiasm for this transformation. And as you may have heard, we're already off to a great start. The ministry received over 150 Ontario Health Team self-assessments with over 1,000 different providers and organizations across Ontario signing up for the first wave of applications. The response has been extremely positive and certainly very encouraging to all of us at the ministry. Because these applications represent a real commitment from healthcare service providers to work together and with the province to deliver on the vision of an integrated healthcare system centered around the patient. I really want to thank many of you who are here today who have contributed by building new partnerships as well as strengthening existing ones, guiding and advising teams, and for your ongoing work in developing integrated <coughs> care pathways to support patient-centered models and Ontario health teams. Please know that we really value your contributions and look forward to continued partnership as we work together to execute on the vision of the local Ontario health teams. I want to emphasize that the first round of applications is not a one-time occurrence. Instead, Applications to become an Ontario Health Team will continue to be accepted and assessed and groups will be supported along that process. We expect the first cohort of Ontario Health Teams to be selected this fall. And our government looks forward to continuing to work with you. You are the ones with the advice, experience, and insight from your experiences as we develop new ways to break down the silos among different healthcare sectors and professions, to continue building new partnerships and strengthen existing ones, and adopt a more effective and efficient way to share information and work together in the best interests of the patient and their families throughout their healthcare journey. You are the ones on the front line. I know I am not, and we need your expertise and advice. I know that we can keep counting on you to champion and work with us to develop the integrative change that our healthcare system needs. And with events like today, we can learn from the best and brightest in the sector, share ideas, and ensure that Ontario health teams continue to be developed in tandem with current evidence-based practices for system development and design. When we look at the system today, there are already great examples of collaborative work that supports patients and families transitioning from one healthcare system to another. And I'm gonna to have to take, for example, one from my writing in Newmarket Aurora, South Lake at Home. This innovative program connects South Lake at Home with their uh, community or home care that patients need before they leave the hospital. Doing so not only supports a patient's transition out of hospital, it also helps free desperately needed bed capacity. Early results, I'm thankful to say, indicate that this uh, project has been a very, very successful one. Patients enrolled in the project have been able to get all of their home care and community services lined up while they're still in the hospital. And the result has been zero levels of ALC for these patients, zero levels. Compare that to the Lynn baseline of 14.2 days. And across Ontario, 
15% of patients needlessly remain in hospitals because of ALC pressures. Against these statistics, South Lake at Home's results are certainly something worth celebrating and something we hope we can celebrate with other hospitals across the province in the very near future. Models of integrated care like these help support patients and their families throughout their healthcare journey. This is the kind of collaborative work that we want to see evolve as part of an integrated team in a fully connected system. As you know, Ontario health teams will not be a one-size-fits-all result. The solutions that are going to work in northwestern Ontario are certainly not going to be the solutions that are going to work in downtown Toronto. Governance and delivery models have to be customized to the characteristics of the population and the geography we are trying to serve. And the size of each local Ontario health team will vary depending on that local geography and the population that it serves. This is an opportunity for providers to take the lead on what they are doing and organize in a way that best achieves their desired outcomes. So I consider this to be a really exciting time in healthcare. I hope that you feel the same way, where healthcare providers are going to be able to work together across the healthcare sectors and work to break down the silos that exist to allow that to happen and to create that connection and integrated care. If we are truly serious about finally building a healthcare system centered around patients and their families, we're going to need to roll up our sleeves and put in the hard work that we're going to need to do in order to be able to get there. Together, we will finally build a coordinated health system in Ontario centered around patients. And so I know that you're up for that challenge. I am too. I thank you very much for the opportunity to come and speak with you today and look forward to working together with all of you in the future. So I hope you have a wonderful conference and thank you very much again for allowing me to join you.